I'm going to take a look now at peg pivots. In our last video, we had a look at this little drawing pivot button. And now I want to see how we can set our pivots on the pegs rather than the drawings. So I'm going to just um, put my hierarchy together. So it, it parents from the, the hand to the hand and lower arm to the upper arm. And I'm going to set my pivots using this uh, rotate tool on our animation, advanced animation toolbar, Windows toolbars. Let's get rid of it. Advanced animation, Windows toolbars, advanced animation. And I'm going to start with the hand. And then I'm going to do the lower arm. And then I'm going to do the upper arm. Now, if I want the exact same pivot information on this one, this peg, and this peg, I simply open them up, and I copy Control-C, Control-V, Control-C, Control-V. I just paste the information inside the peg. Let's do that one more time. I want this one and this one to be exactly the same. I'm going to open up that one and open up the layer properties and I can see the pivot information I'm going to copy it from here to here here to here and now whether I'm on the regular drawing element these are all correct or if I parent up B B B these are matching and that's the sort of difference between drawing pivots and peg pivots